Hey everyone, welcome to Your Analyst, the place where we talk all about only the best anime that are worth watching. Today we are going to go through Triage X, and if you would like to see all about anime, please leave your like and subscribe to join our analyst. Black Label A group of specialized professionals are sent to take the life of a corrupt businessman named Hideo Aranami and his newest member. Arashi Mikami along with his partner are responsible for entering Hideo Aranami's mansion and taking his life while the other members distract Aranami's agents. Arriving at the room where Aranami was, unexpectedly Arashi gives his target a pistol to see if he will end his own life. But obviously Aranami tries to shoot Arashi Mikami. Realizing that Aranami cannot be saved, Arashi takes his life. Upon completing the mission they leave the mansion and blow it up completely, leaving no trace of what happened. At the hideout, we see that the group meets with President Machizuki. He congratulates them and even makes a token statement that the Black Label is an organization of surgeons who remove evil from the body of this city. Mikoto Kiba questions Arashi's actions regarding having given a pistol to his target while they are showering and finds that Arashi's body is covered in scars, leaving her shocked. Teize Aranami Hideo's equally corrupt son, along with his accomplice Jin Masaki kidnap and torture a man and his daughter for trying to hand over secret Aranami company documents to the police, but are interrupted by Detective Isoroku Tatara who arrives on the scene to stop them. Black Label invades the building and Arashi takes Teze's life. A shootout occurs and Arashi ends up saving Tatara, but Masaki takes the life of one of the hostages and escapes, while Orhan Nashida destroys the building with explosives. As Black Label leaves, Makoto remembers how Arashi told her during the shower that his body was severely damaged during a terrorist attack, and to save his life, Dr. Masamune Machizuki, the founder of Black Label, transplanted organs from his own son and Arashi's best friend. Ryu Machizuki is brain dead from the incident and he is unsure how much of his body remains of him. Meanwhile, Masaki vows revenge against the vigilantes, while another group prepares to spring into action. The next day, Detective Tatara tries to interrogate the rescued hostage named Ms. Fujino, but the staff at Machizuki General Hospital thwarts his attempts, saying that she was still recovering and could not receive visitors. Dr. Machizuki congratulates his Black Label agents and announces that Arashi, Makoto and Orha will form a team known as Ampool One, supporting Ampool Zero made up of Dr. Yuyuko Sajiri, Dr. Miki Tsurugi and Nurse Seo Hitsuki. While this Black Label meeting is taking place, Masaki kidnaps Mrs. Fujino and his henchman Yoroida fatally runs over Mrs. Kimura, an elderly woman who is Yuuko's patient. During the kidnapping, in an abandoned apartment complex, Masaki and his men wait for the vigilantes while Masaki gives Fujino a substance known as Platinum Lily. When Tatara tries to save Fujino, the woman stabs him, and when Makoto tries to help him, Konomi Suzue, Tatara's partner enters the room, but is immobilized and captured by Masaki's henchmen. As Seo, Miki and Yuko begin their attack, Arashi arrives just in time to save Makoto, and Yuko avenges her patient, taking Yoroida's life. Arashi and Makoto confront Masaki on the roof of the building, and when Fujino tries to attack him, Arashi knocks her out. Arashi tells Masaki that he has always been conscious, even with the surgery, and this is what gives him strength. When Masaki tries to escape using a helicopter, Oria, who rescued Tatara and Suzue unconscious, shoots him and the wounded Masaki falls off the building and is impaled by the propeller of the destroyed helicopter. In the aftermath, Dr. Machizuki tells his assistant that they need to move on to get this city cleaned up from these kinds of people. While the members of the Black Label were resting from this intense and exhausting mission, while riding her motorcycle, Makoto remembers when her older brother lost his life during a mission, a brother whom she respected greatly and who was always by her side. Upon arriving at her goal, she discovers that her target Magari Yusuke has been burned to death by another mysterious vigilante. The two begin to fight, but the vigilante quickly disappears. Meanwhile, former Black Label member Shina Kairo Inanaki gives Dr. Machizuki footage of Arashi's previous mission, which was recorded by Masaki before he had his life taken by the vigilantes of his Black Label group. Inanaki, in exchange for his silence, gives Black Label information about a very dangerous new substance whose cargo will arrive very soon and the consequences of its spread. At school, Makoto meets the mysterious transfer student Chikage Hazaki, who shows great interest in Makoto, appearing to have seen her somewhere before. Bile One is sent to take the lives of the leaders of the group called Kabuto, interested in acquiring the new substance that was being sold around town. Although they successfully take the lives of their targets, they encounter the arsonist one more time before she escapes. Amp Zero is sent to investigate on his own, and Seo follows Inanaki to the hideout of some arms dealers. While riding his motorcycle, Makoto encounters Chikich. Meanwhile, Kunio Omichi, brother of one of the members who worked for Kabuto and lost his life, 
plans his revenge against the group that took his brother's life. Seo takes the lives of most of the dealers and before she can interrogate the survivor, a sniper takes his life, while Inanaki simply walks away. Mikoto tells Chikich and tells how her brother during a motorcycle accident lost his life and how that accident almost took his life as well. Then Chikich tells how she lost her parents in a terrorist incident and how she and her sister were cared for by a doctor, only for her sister to lose her life a while later in a house fire that scarred her. A student who used the substance tries to lure Arashi's classmate, Yu Mamakino, but Chikage and Makoto stop him in time. The young man escapes, but on his phone is a ransom demand for Mumichi, who has taken another student hostage. Chikage and Makoto separate in order to take the lives of the remaining agents of the Kabuto organization. In this way they begin to act individually to stop this organization. Makoto confronts Umichi and finds herself surrounded by hostages tied up with explosive vests who approach her. Umichi then offers her a katana to be a fair duel of swords. During the fight Makoto is almost close to being able to take Umichi's life, but one of Umichi's henchmen appears and shocks her with a stun gun, giving Umichi the opportunity to cut Makoto's leg off, soon afterwards forcing her to play a game to escape the hostages who have the bombs on their bodies in 10 minutes. Makoto is unable to reason with the hostages and when they try to take her life, she is saved by the incendiary vigilante. Even though Makoto tells her to spare the civilians' lives, the vigilante takes them out, causing an explosion that takes their lives and using self-preservation as an excuse to hurt others. Chikage reveals herself as the arsonist vigilante, so both realize each other's identity. And when Chikage tells her motives for taking people's lives alongside her master, Makoto suspects she is being manipulated. Umichi sets fire to the warehouse and challenges the vigilantes to catch him. Chikage tells Makoto of her feelings and leaves her behind. And before Makoto passes out, Arashi arrives and gives his kill, urging his partner to finish it, while Oraha successfully deactivates the vests and saves the hostages. Before Chikage can take Umich's life, Makoto uses her bike to intercede and when Chikage tries to take her life, Makoto shouts how she cares for her and it's not too late. Umichi tries to signal to his shooters to help him, but they have already lost their lives for ample zero. And then Amichi loses his life for Detective Makoto Ogawa, Chikage's master. Ogawa suddenly shoots Chikage in the eye with an arrow, as she considers it useless to him. Arashi then throws his gun at Makoto, and she fatally shoots Ogawa, who before losing her life says that she considers Black Label's actions useless. Chikage regains consciousness and tells her friend that she hopes to reincarnate in a better world next to her sister, before letting herself fall into the flames. Mikoto tries to stop her from trying to take her life, but she was weak and ends up fainting. After a while she wakes up on Arashi's motorcycle who sails her to the Black Label base for her to recover. That's it. I really hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any suggestions for videos don't forget to comment here below, because I'll be reading all of them as I always do. Also don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss out on any content from your analyst.